The last poem I'm going to read you is a poem written for a young man who died in Monaghan on that day. Thomas Crocrin was an agricultural worker from Tile Holland in County Monaghan. He was seriously injured in the Monaghan bomb and survived until July 23rd, 1974, where he died in the Richmond Hospital. He was survived by his mother and seven siblings. James Crocrin's deposition and statement at the coroner's court, 30th of the 9th, 2003. I am James Crocrin, brother of the deceased Thomas Crocrin. My brother was very badly injured by the Monaghan bomb. At first, Thomas was taken to Monaghan County Hospital, but then he was transferred to Dublin due to his horrendous injuries. Thomas was in hospital for nine weeks and he spoke to us. He told us what happened to him on the 17th May 1974. However, Thomas died in the Richmond Hospital on the 23rd of July. My brother's condition had deteriorated. His injuries were too much. But while he was still alive, he was able to remember everything. From the start, Thomas had left the Ulster Arms pub in the North Road and was making his way to McLone's Cafe close to Gratian's pub. And he had his hand on the door of the cafe when the bomb went off. Well, my mother never got over my brother's death, you know. Ach, my mother lived, but she never really got over that, you know. Ballad for Thomas Crocron. I'll live past this. Muscle true another day. I've tilled the soil. I'll harvest the land. I've fed and tended the livestock. I'll see through Cavan and Lamentine. I'll eat colours from July, wild raspberries and early blackberries. Rest in power and peace, Thomas Crocrin. Thank you very much. As always, it's a very sad honour to have to read to commemorate those who died in the Dublin and Monaghan bombings. May we soon get justice for the forgotten.